Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Last we left off, we grabbed onto the guy's um, carriage and followed him into this yard, so let's just see where this goes. Um, can I go over here? Oh, I'm actually sneaky. Only two people live here. I wish one was me. I know, it seems like a nice place. Bags of food. I like this ass. It's too dangerous to enter. What? Nah, it's fine. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. No, you cannot. Nobody over there. Okay. I can't see what's inside. All right, this is like a study or an office. Um, see the wow. desk. A lot of expensive stuff. Yeah, some nice guns in there. Quite a bit of pictures. A nice fire going on. Don't. I think there's anything else for me to look at. Ah, oh, coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Ah, I see. Okay. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Ah, I see. That's all I had to do. Okay. Nothing to see here. Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Sam and the items brought in by Wiggins. Okay. Wiggins did a good job. Yeah, pretty good drawing. Um, I guess go to the archives, see if there's anything in there. The coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lloyd Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, and etc. It's been so long since I've seen etc. written out. Confuse me for a second. Um, Lloyd Marsh is also renowned as a co-founder of the Special Education Program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3 Mainsbury Road. Okay. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? <laughs> you will tell me, won't you, father? But you'll make Watson jealous. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson?
Okay, what do I need to do? I need to pay a visit to Lord Marsh now. Okay. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Well, who is it? Come in, please. All right, I'll come right in. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Um, character profile real fast. Um, I don't have the information for that yet. We'll figure that out. Um, got your ring. Well, of course he's a man of wealth. He's probably ill. Gonna wait on that again. Oh. Okay. Painkiller. So he is ill. What does it say? Personal assistant, cooking recipe. I'm trying to see what that says. It's talking about his, um, yeah, that, this is definitely his assistant talking about his condition at the moment. Member of a hunting club, okay. Oh, you have stethoscope. Okay, so you're his physician, the guy that made that journal. Um, the red eyes is because you feel unwell, and the blanket is because you were ill. Okay, I did that right. Reuben Fisher is a young man of 25, does not look 25 on that, and already a confident physician, he is well-educated, mannered, and a member of a hunting club. His clothes indicate that he is financially wealthy. Reuben Fisher is not only a physis physician, not physicist, um, he is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he is covered with a blanket despite the fact that it's quite room inside the room. And there's an open package of powerful painkillers to help him with that. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing, and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. Well, Sherlock doesn't seem like he believes the man. It's curious. 
Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in ah, a special job. Ah, that was you. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you. But I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. <gasps> Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Well, you're taking a lot of painkillers, so I don't think you're all right. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. I guess I wasn't the right choice? I don't know. I'm gratified by your interest in my charity. You're the first who has offered to help. Alright. London Hospital, Whitechapel Road. Lord Marsh even uh. has hospitals. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. What are paupers exactly? No. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. So you hunt too, okay. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Not too Thanks shabby. To Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. There is something to look at. Document with the seal. Uh, Dear Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. Patrick Tanner, Thomas... I've never heard of this man. Okay. Uh... Thomas Kelly, John Strobridge, I have heard of him. John Strobridge, um, I've seen William Thatcher and Reginald Staple. Yeah. yeah, that was the missing kid. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Oh, what is this? Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red color signifies an unachievable. Okay. Okay, I knew one of them was connected. Uh, maybe interpreted. I did not read that. A special job mentioned by George Hurst is not connected with the program, or it is. This is like a conclusions page to see which conclusion I come up with.
What do you think, Watson? I'm intrigued by the special education program. I am too. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor, and certainly not in a lord's house. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Aid for the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. It's extremely honorable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Bags full of food. Can't even go upstairs. It's shut tight. That's the uh, office I looked at before. I don't think I can really hmm. Locked. see anything else. Other than the fact that the upstairs is closed off. Despite my title, yes. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I don't think there's anything else. Let me check the case book real quick. Maybe I go talk to the kid again. I don't know. Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh yeah, I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. All right, there's this oil can also be used on weapons. A key for something. Jusui priest. Jack. Trust. A military badge. Definitely did not say that right. A ramrod to clean a rifle. So it's definitely for a father own a rifle. A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. This scrap of cloth was used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. I have a feeling that his dad's special job was to off Sherlock Holmes. I could be wrong. Could just be some other dude, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. All right, let's grab Toby. Come on, Toby. It's time for you to earn your keep. A good boy he is. Watson, I prefer to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. Okay, so it's just going to be me and Toby. Um, wherever Toby might I be. I prefer to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. Unless I take Toby back to the house. Oh, look at Toby there. He's so cute. All right, give it a li listen. Search, Toby. Search. Oh, I get to play as Toby again. Okay. Let's go find it. Oh, a little wonky of controls, but that's fine. I don't think that's how you run downstairs. Out the back door. Where, oh, where could he have gone? 
Oh, the road splits. Um, let's go this way first, I guess. garden shed let's go on okay I guess there's nothing there over there over there I'm just gonna go over here that's probably where it is maybe Layer. Okay. Oh, the key works. This is definitely not a regular basement. There is something over there. I'll go over here first. Nothing that could interest me. Nope, it's just like water heater. Something like that. Pile of rubbish. I thought Toby was following me for a second there. Just rubbish. Ordinary storage. Tom's photograph. Let's try to get inside. Do I have to pick the lock or something? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, what happens if I do that? Was that it? I had it first try. Okay. Um, some documents. Dear Tom, if you're reading this letter, then it means that I'm dead. I'm so sorry that things had to end up this way, but I had no other choice. You have to know that. You're a very smart boy, and I am so proud of you. I hope one day you'll understand and you'll forgive me. Son, I love you very much, or so much. Don't despair. Try to be happy, for you'll grow up to be a man someday, and... Sooner than you think. You won't be alone. Me and your mom will be looking over you from heaven. Your loving father. News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? They're clearly connected. Lord Marsh, in association with his friends Lord Harrington and Lord Collins, is the co-founder of a special education program in assisting the poor to build better lives he, and more certain futures. These three gentlemen surely help lift the level of our struggling society. Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. The list of missing, or... This is the list of selected participants for October's special education program. According to this poster, John Strobridge is missing. Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. This man appears in both... Oh, I have to do both. Okay. Um. There. Um. John Strowbridge is there. Patrick Tanner right there. All the people in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. And this is just the list, I assume, yeah.
George, I do understand you and it's so sad. Same as you. I can't find a job, not even the smallest thing. My children have nothing to eat. When I try to find anything, the bosses just say that they don't want wounded people working for them. Our military service means nothing. Our country used us in war, but now it has abandoned us. Nobody cares. Yeah. By Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, I, Frederick Russell Burnham, Major of the British Army, declare the country extends its gratitude to George Hurst, an honorable soldier of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, for his valiant military service. The British Army hereby awards him the Distinguished Conduct Medal and retires him due to the injuries sustained while in duty. Okay. And he's still got a few shells. This case left. must have been full of cartridges. There was something on the stand. Guessing a rifle. A map of Epping Forest. That's it. Imagination talent helps you to visualize objects and events useful in limited situations. Okay. Well, let's just make sure I grabbed everything else first, and I did. Okay. There was a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. Okay, conclusions. Okay, so there is still something to conclude. Um, George Hurst was interested in the special education pro program, but nothing more, or collected information involved. Uh, George's her George Hurst's special job is undoubtedly associated with violence if he took his rifle with him. Sneak into Lord Marsh's house and uncover additional information about the special education pro program. Okay. Um, George Hurst either knew that he stood no chance of returning from his special job or he wrote it but didn't give it to Tom, there's a chance that he is still alive. I'm not sure about that. Although it, really, it very well could be him that's aiming at Sherlock in the start. I do need to search the archives for this, so I guess I will do that. It's a military badge. I feel like we're coming up on the conclusion of this case. Okay. Um, badge. Wolfjack. Wolfjack is half wolf, half jackrabbit. It was used by the Lovat Scouts as a self Descriptive nickname. The Lov Lovat Scouts formally became the British Army's first marksman unit. Interesting. Okay. So that's what you're, you were in your service. It was definitely connected to your wound. I assume, yeah, there's nothing else I can do there. Oh god, what can I do? Sneak into the house and find out more. Okay. Um, tasks. I'm guessing I have to lockpick again. I'm not even sure what that mechanism was. It was a little odd to me. I just got lucky that first time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to know when I upload next. And I will see you in the next one.